Well, happy Monday to you and happy first day of March. This year is moving right along. January and February are done. March is now upon us. And I want to spend one more morning talking about the Bible. We've been talking about the fact that the Bible is unique, it, it's inspired, it's profitable, it's sufficient, and it's authoritative. What I want to do today is just give you a tool that you can use to not just read the Bible, but apply it to your life. It's one thing to know it, it's another thing to do it. That's why James said, don't just be a hearer of the word, be a doer of the word. So how can I read the Bible in a way in which I know how to apply it to my life. Well, it's as easy as putting on your spiritual specs. Short for spectacles. S-P-E-C-S. And each letter stands for something you look for. So as you read your Bible, keep a notebook next to you and write down these things. Letter S. Are there any sins... I need to avoid. So as you read the Bible, if the Bible lists sins that you're to avoid, write them down in your notebook. Letter P, are there any promises to claim? So as you read through the Bible, if God makes you a promise, and there are over 700 promises in the Bible, write it down. Now be careful, not every promise is universal. Some promises were for a particular person or group of people, but many of the promises were for all of us. Letter P, promises to claim. Letter E, look for examples to follow. So as you read the Bible, if you see an example of someone in the Bible who did something right, write that example down. Then letter a C, I almost misspelled that. Letter C, look for commands to obey. So as you read the Bible, when God gives you a command, something you're to do, write it down in your notebook. And then letter S, and that stands for statements about God. So as you read the Bible, anytime you learn something about God, write it down because you know what you can do? You can take time to praise God for that truth about him. So if you'll use this specs tool, here's what happens. As you read, you will make a list of sins to avoid, promises to claim, examples to follow, commands to obey, and statements about God that you can give him praise for. And you know what you have in that notebook? You have specific ways that you can apply the word of God to your life so you're not just a reader of the word, you're not just a hearer of the word, you are a doer of the word. So put on your spiritual specs today. Look for sins to avoid, promises to claim, examples to follow, commands to obey, and statements about God. Now if you think that will help your friends on your Facebook page, why don't you share this video right now so they can see this video as well. Well, let me pray as we start our week. So God, as we begin this new week and this new month, I pray that you would help us not just to be readers and hearers of the word, but to be doers of the word. And I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, have a great Monday. We'll see you again tomorrow morning for another morning check-in from E-Free Church.